What's up guys, in this video I will show you how to create our S3 bucket in Amazon AWS and also have our own IAM user which will have only specific rights to the S3 bucket and later on we will move to the Laravel code where we actually upload the images. So this is the first part where let me log into my console. All right, this is my dashboard and first things first, I'll create an IAM or identity and access management user. Okay, we go to this panel and there we go to the user section. I have three users and then I'll create a new one. I'll name it for tutorial. Click next rather click create but before that you need to make sure that you have this checked generate an access key for each user this is required while configuring the s3 file system on laravel all right you will get this screen where you can see show sec security credentials now let me be very clear i will remove this user so you will not be able to use these keys later on for now i'll just keep these two in handy I'll keep it in sublime alright this is done close it will inform you that you will not be able to download the secret key again you can get the username obviously the ID will remain but this key is available once and if you lose it then you have to generate it again so you can either download or you can copy it and keep it somewhere safe so now we have four users I click on this particular user and every user has specific permissions which are either attached through this permissions tab or a user belongs to a group and group has policies. So what I will do is I will not create any policy uh, groups rather uh, I'll just give it some basic policies. I have Amazon S3 full access which I will add and now my user is ready to upload anything through the access key on an S3 bucket. So now the next thing is I go to a, the services tab and click on S3. Now you can see I have two buckets and I'll create a new one. Let's call it learning L5. I'll select the region as US standard and I'll do create now what will happen is you can see we have a new bucket and if we go to properties we are set to basically upload anything right now on this bucket with the, the user which we have created now that we have the access key and the secret access key as well it's time to implement the uploading of a file inside Laravel for example I will just create a new route in the routes.php and give you a very basic example where I'm uploading a text file so that we know that yes the file system is working with the new credentials I have made a few changes which I'll show you inside my file systems which is inside the config folder right I have made these setting changes my key secret region and bucket are coming from the environment file which is this as you can see I have these four new entries in my environment file which ensures that everything inside file system is coming from this .env file which will never go into my repository because this is not inside version control that's all there is as far as the configuration in laravel goes one package which we need to install is this if you go to file systems you will see I am using Amazon S3 so this package is required for me I have just done a composer require of this package and that's it now the next thing is 
to create the route where we can test it out. So I'll open up my routes.php file and create a very simple closure. Let's for now return one, two, three, and let's check if things are working. test okay now I need to get the s3 instance so if you follow the, the documentation obtaining disk instance is basically disk equal storage disk so I can do dollar s3 equals storage disk and then I pass s3 I need to add this and yeah that's ready and now I need to put a file in my s3 bucket you can see I have uploaded manually one image.jpg but there's nothing else in this bucket all right so what we can do is go to the documentation storing files it says storage put file.jpg dollar content so what we can do is we can say dollar s3 put my file dot text I'll pass some content so this is a dummy file with some content and there's one additional argument which we can pass which is whether the file is public or not which I will do for now okay and let's hit refresh something happened it took time so let's refresh here yes my file is available and you can see my content is actually coming here so we can basically try out everything which is there inside the documentation you know and we can use the s3 disk instance to practically upload anything on the bucket so yeah that's about it in the next tutorial I will continue from the image upload part of the drop zone JS we will use intervention first to you know get the different sizes for the images and then later on upload them on s3 thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and you know subscribe to my channel